Hey guys, Dear Check Lifestyle here, back with another video. Uh, this one here is a bit controversial because uh, Senator Warren, um, along with uh, 100 legislators, wrote um, White House Treasury about crypto and terrorism. Right, let me go down and read you a little bit about it. Uh, uh, Senator Warren, is liberal Warren, um, was the lead author of a letter signed by 28 other senators and 76 members of the House representative about the role of cryptocurrencies in financing, financing, financing terrorism. Signers came from both parties and include an independent, although democratic, uh, predominant. Um, the letter dated October 17 was addressed to the Treasury under the Sec Security for Ter Terrorism and in Financial Intelligence, um, Brian Nelson and National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan. The authors cited a news article that claimed that claimed Hamas and the Palestinian Islamic Jihad raised over 100 million, 130 million in crypto donations between August 21 and uh, June 2023. Very little of the donated money has been recovered. They go on to say uh, the deadly attack by Hamas on Israel civilians came as a, a group of has become one of the most sophisticated crypto users in terrorist finance domain clarifies that the national security threat crypto poses to us and other and our allies let's go on right then we have israeli shuts down more than 100 Binance accounts to block hamas funding after it was revealed the terror group uh, raised 41 million in between 21 and 2023 you see the disparaging figures here 130 million, then we have 41 million between the same time period as well. Okay, where is it? That's what they say here. Okay, moving on. Right, Hamas military, and this is controversial here again. Hamas military wing stopped accepting Bitcoin's donations, uh, report says. Why did they stop doing it? Because it's easily tracked, for God's sake. The military arm of Palestinian militant group Hamas will stop accepting donations in Bitcoin BTC news outlet. Sure. That doesn't mean to say they couldn't use others, but they're all trackable. The outlet site in message posted in Telegram group, believed to be run by the military, or wing um, Lodz, a Dillon, whatever, a Brigade Brigades Hamas, which is listed on terrorist organization by the US uh, and has been accepting Bitcoin donations for some time, apparently using platforms like Binance to launder proceeds until, until the wallet was frozen. Okay, um, the brigade said the Telegram post that will halt Bitcoin donations for the safety of the, the donors, especially in light of the inter... inter... I don't know how to say that word, sorry, the dyslexia and inter-certification of the prosecution and doubling of the hostile efforts against everyone who tries to support and resist these look through this currency right in 2021 Israel seized 84 wallets okay like I said it doesn't mean to say they're not using different currencies suspected of belonging to mass that ha held a mix of cryptos including BTC, Dodge, ADO, XLM, XRP, O and ETH worth millions of dollars. Right, so let's move on. We have here, right, and this is what's really getting me, right, the US money laundering dominant and the dominant dollar. The US dollar is always also one of the most important currencies of, of money for money laundering and US money laundering is already a global concern obviously this is closely related to us dollar it's international business dealings according to research 87 percent of the global foreign exchange transactions involve the us dollar researchers also observe that at least 80 percent of trade finance dealing with conducted in us which one of um with other currencies settling for around 5%, 10% of US dollar dominates the financial trade. The promote of the prominence of the US dollar makes it prone to money laundering. Come on. You got on one hand you have Elizabeth Warren saying this is used for illegal terrorism, etc. and Hamas did it, okay? But on the other hand you have 
the US, sorry, the US dollar being used for uh, uh, money laundering. So that could lend itself to terrorism as well. That is the global currency of the world. Everybody uses it, unfortunately. But could BRICS be the answer to this? Could we stop all these, these wars, etc. as a result? Anyway, I'll move on. Right, um, then as for Palestine, right, they have oil. Could that be the reason why they want to go in there? And let me finish off with this one. Right, like and subscribe, by the way, if you like what you're hearing. Uh, Gary Gensler is now um, going to approve, um, hopefully soon, a Bitcoin ETF. And I wanted you guys to hear him talk about it himself and um, the fact that he has not um, put in um, an appeal um, against for this data. Hold on. Else that happened last week or rather didn't happen was the SEC acting to appeal a court ruling from August in the Grayscale case. Grayscale, of course, trying to convert GBTC into a spot ETF. I know you can't comment on ongoing litigation, but should we still be considering that ongoing litigation given that lack of appeal at this point? And if not, what happens next? Wait, didn't you just say that you knew I wasn't going to comment on the litigation? But let me just say... But is it still ongoing since so you didn't appeal? We didn't appeal last Friday. I think that's accurate. Um, so you could but, still in the but, future in an but, form. but what we have in front of us, just so that the, the viewing public understands, we have not one, but multiple, I think it's eight or ten filings that the staff and ultimately the commission is considering for what's called exchange-traded products, for for Bitcoin to be in a, in a, in a security. So the Bitcoin would be held and then there'd be something called an exchange traded product and that would trade on various stock exchanges and those filings are in front of us i can't prejudge any one of them but there's eight or ten that we're looking at well there is a large number and there is kind of a narrative in this market and i wonder if you could put it to rest that someone's going to get to go first is that likely to happen or is it likely to be a group approval if you're going to have one a, a bunch of products could be approved at the same time uh, again i, I I'm not going to prejudge. The staff's doing work on those uh, multiple filings, but it's also about those companies or issuers. See, when a company is actually, or an asset manager is seeking to take something public, these exchange traded products need to register with the SEC and they go through a filing somewhat similar to going public, like an IPO. And so it's really. Uh, the work of our Division of Corporation Finance that gives feedback. Our Division of Trading and Markets, of course, looks at the filings of the exchanges. So, guys, listen, right? We are going to get an ETF at some point. God knows when. But at the end of the day, what does that mean for the asset itself? What does that mean for crypto going forward? It means an awful lot for crypto going forward, especially in the, with the Bitcoin. And uh, I think the ETH is involved in this as well. And um, I hear other people talking about XRP. I'm not going to go there with the XRP uh, 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 more the ETH at the moment, but I understand Bitcoin is one of those. What will that do to the price? I have no idea. Um, what I will say is I hope that my bags rise and I'm able to get something of worth out of it. As a result of that, I don't have a massive amount of, uh, of, of BTC or, or, or search structure coins, but what I do have is um, all right, and basically um, their utility tokens. But however, that said, that would hopefully allow the utility tokens to, to to rise as well, because what happens after Bitcoin rises and it goes parabolic, it then cools off, and then a lot of trading starts going into the other. Um, crypto tokens and could this be the utility, utility bull run that everyone's expecting anyway do check last time out hope you guys like uh, like and subscribe take care yourself yeah take care bye government's interest expense will increase more between 2022 and 2024 than in the 51 years. Interest expense will increase more between 2022 and 2024 than in the 51 years prior. And with about 30% of government debt that needs to be rolled over the next 12 months, this could become a big, big drag on the economy. Now, the second way it affects the economy is corporate borrowers. Corporate debt is similar to government debt in which it's not 
them to at the same time, adding to this lag effect. Now, most companies, sort of like the government, they spread out their debt, so there's only a small amount that's actually maturing in any one year. So it can take time until the more expensive debt replaces the cheaper maturing debt.